Hello, so we are back, and this time, let's clear it out. 100% sitting CPU, it's overheating or not? It's not. Okay, so let's have a look. Here we have a gaming laptop, a GS66 MSI. Let's check together on the screen what do we have. We have a program to monitor the, the temperature, and I want to pay attention on the, the core temperature. I want to pay attention on the clock, and I want to pay attention on the power uh, of the package. Then I will gonna stress the CPU on the beginning, which I will do it right now. So basically what we have here, we have an idle clock, which is sitting around seven, up around 800 megahertz. That's the idle, CPU idle clock. And a max clock of 4.5 gigahertz. And you will say, sorry, yeah, 4.5 gigahertz, this is a 11 gen CPU is fine. I mean, what do you want more, right? Okay. Now let's start stressing the CPU and pay attention on the temperature, okay? So instantly, you can see the temperature is going up to like 95 degrees, which is the limit. So what will gonna happen at 95 degrees? It will start limiting the clock. So check the clock, right now it's 3.9 gigahertz. So we just lose a bunch of uh, megahertz from the CPU because of the heat, okay? Now, if you will wait a little bit more, the laptop, it will get hot, the clock, it will go even lower. So as you can see, the temperature is sitting comfortable at 95 degrees. The CPU cannot pass those, these 95 degrees because it's controlled by clock. So in a case of overheating, what it will happen? Your CPU, it will get hotter? No, your clock, it will get lower your computer, it will be slower. And how low can go the CPU? Can go low like the idle, uh, the idle clock. So if your computer is overheating, you will see same thing, like max temperature like 95, 100 degrees. I see in my books, they have like 100 degrees, the, the limit when they start limiting the clock. So uh, you won't see a difference on the temperature, but you see a difference on the clock. So if you ask me if your laptop is overheating, tell me your clock. So that's a good sign if your laptop is overheating. Now laptops are not desktops. On the desktop, you have no limit. You have enough power, you know, you can get rid of the heat. So the limit is only the clock, not on the laptop. On the laptop, you have two limits. First is the temperature. And the second is the package power, which in this case, I believe it's around 80 watts. Now, right now we have like 3.5 gigahertz CPU. So we just sent back the laptop with around four years. The temperature is the same. Let's stop the, let's stop the, the stressing. Let's start the GPU. Uh, just to render test, just to, you know, load up the GPU a little bit. Let's pay attention on the sensors. So we can see it's there, stable GPU utilization. Okay, good. The GPU is taking right now like around 32 watts. What will happen if we are starting the, the CPU stress? Yeah, let's try it. The CPU clock is around 4.5, you can see. Good. Now we start the CPU. Now one thing you'll notice, the, the, the laptop, it will not pass the max package power. So it doesn't matter how much you load the CPU or GPU or both, he cannot pass that limit. So right now we have around 3.1 gigahertz CPU clock. So we just send this laptop back in time, like around six years. Now what will happen with the GPU? You can see on the GPU load, GPU load that goes down, the clock starting going down, the memory load, uh, the memory controller load goes down, so everything is going down. Right now the clock, the CPU clock is around 3.1 gigahertz. And that's how the laptop works. So you can see it cannot pass the 95 degrees and it cannot pass around 80 watts on the, on the package power. That's why when you buy a better uh, gaming laptop, don't focus on the CPU performance because you will not get that performance. You can see here we have like 3.1 gigahertz clock. So even if we are stopping stressing the GPU and the CPU, in the moment you start uh, using your CPU 
for whatever application you use, instantly the temperature is going to 95, yeah, because that is the limit on this case, on this laptop. But there are a lot of laptops that limit, it's 100 degrees Celsius or 105 degrees Celsius. So basically you bought a good laptop, an up-to-day laptop, but the moment you start using it, you send the laptop back in time. And that's how the laptop works. Unfortunately, not everyone knows. So when you buy a laptop, instead of focusing on, on a better uh, CPU performance or GPU performance, focus on the size of the heatsink, yeah? Because you see, a smaller heatsink, it will not be helpful. You have like few seconds max clock, that's all what you have. Now, it is anything what I can do to improve the performance of my laptop? Yes, it is. So what you can do, basically the manufacturers, they are not using the back of the laptop. If it's metal, they will not be using it at a heatsink because when you keep the laptop on the lap, it will burn you. But if you have your laptop and you are not keeping the laptop on your lap, you can use thermal pads to send the heat from the CPU to the, to the back uh, case just to get rid of the heat. There are manufacturers doing this? Yes. On the MacBook, the 12 inch one without the fan, uh, they are using the metal case to get, uh, to get rid of the CPU heat. So that's how you can improve a little bit the performance of your laptop. But one more time, I will say one more time, when you buy a gaming laptop, Focus on the size of the heatsink more than on the CPU performance and GPU performance. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.